is Mallory Donnelly here, and I am coming to do video number one of our virtual party series. So in the first video, I will be covering who, what, when, where, why, and how of virtual parties. So in this first video, we're gonna to be touching on who and what, okay? So first things I'm gonna answer is who should be hosting parties, okay? Who in this company should be hosting parties? Everyone. The answer is everyone. There is not one person above having a party unless you don't want your business to grow and you want it to either go backwards or stay where it's at, you don't have parties. But if you want your business to grow, you have parties. And before we get too in detail, you only use the word party in a training, never to a customer and we'll talk why. So, every single person should be hosting virtual parties. You can host in homes, but for sure you need to get them virtually, okay? Everyone from white status to black status needs to have parties. White, yellow, pink, blue, green, orange, purple, and black, and black one, and black two, and black three, okay? You are never above hosting events. Now, they're the backbone of the business. If you don't do them, it's the main, it's the first step of the system. The system of this business is to book, sell, sponsor. Simple. Book parties, sell product in and out of those parties, and sponsor the hostess, sponsor the customers, sponsor your following. Okay? Book, sell, sponsor. Right? Now, who to ask to host. So, who to ask to host? Everyone, everyone. You can never ask enough messages, guys. It's a numbers game. It may take you 200 to 300 people to get 10 to 20 parties, okay? Or 20 to 30 parties. Don't expect to ask 10 people for a party and get even one yes out of it. It's not gonna happen. Now, they, if they tell you no, they're not telling you no, they're just telling the event no. Don't take it personal. If they ignore you, who cares? Has anybody died from a no or being ignored? No. So I am going to post a picture and I want you to screenshot it or pause the video and write this down of ideas for who to ask. It's called Franck. F-R-A-N-C-K. Your friends, your relatives, your acquaintances, your neighbors, your coworkers, and anybody you meet but from your kids. So take a picture. Okay, so I hope you got your screenshot or at least wrote it down so that you remember to ask Frank. Frank. Okay, so ask when you first get started and even later on in life, you will have people host for you multiple times. If they've hosted, it's been longer than three months, they can host again because people need refills and there's always going to be a new body in that party. Okay, they gonna have made new friends over the last few months. Okay, or somebody's going to say yes that didn't say yes last time to the invite. All right. So ask all of your friends. Guys, some people are not blessed with good friends. I wasn't blessed with friends that said yes right away. I had to move on to my relatives, which was very few. I made my mom, my aunt, my sister, because we're so close they couldn't tell me no. Notice I didn't say cousins and things, right? I wasn't blessed with that supportive either. Yes, we're a supportive family, but guys, our friends and our family are usually our hardest people to support us. It's a sad situation, right? Some of the people that we don't even know support us more than the people that we feel like love us the most, right? Let that sink in. But know that it's not just you, okay? So friends and relatives, ask them first. If you get no's, who cares? Move on to the acquaintances, the newest friends that you've met. Like, girl, be my guinea pig. I'm trying something new. All you have to do is add your friends to this group. All you have to do is invite your friends to this event it's gonna be easy. Hopefully we'll get you some free makeup. Be real with them. 
My first personal party was one of my newest friends. I had met her on a trip out of town um, to watch a football game. And we became close and hit it off. And I just messaged her and was like, look, don't hate me, but I need a guinea pig. You want to be it? It was so much easier from a new friend than an old friend to tell me no because the new old friend you expect to support you and if they don't, it sucks, right? Okay, so acquaintances, your neighbors, people that you've met in your neighborhood. I'm very much an introvert, but if you're not, get out in your neighborhood. Get to know people, right? Be active in those events. Coworkers, coworkers, people that see you every day wearing they're going to want your products. Y'all, my coworkers are what took my business off, made me even dive into the business because they started wanting what I was wearing because they noticed a the difference in my skin and what I was using, okay? They'll probably be some of your first recruits too. Your kids' activities, guys. Meet parents that have kids in your class. Become friends with them. Build genuine rapport with them. Care about their kids, have play dates. Tell mom, look, bring the babies over, we'll play, we'll play with makeup, drink wine. That kind of thing, guys. People you meet through your kids, right? Customers, customers. If you've been in the business a little while, customers, follow up. If it's the first time they've bought from you guys, ask them, girlfriend, I'm so glad you're loving that mascara. What if we try to get your next order free? Customers, customers, customers. Anybody who has a birthday the following month, you should finish your birthday messages before the month starts. Plan it a week or two out to start messaging for the next month, guys. Plan ahead because guess what? If your birthday people don't fill it up, then you know you need to back into customers and relatives or past hostesses or random people online. Hey girlfriend, I know this is random, but I see you're online. Would you wanna host an online beauty class? I have one spot left. Create a sense of an urgency, okay? And your VIPs, people in your blog. Hey girl, I wanna give you this last spot because you're one of my VIPs. Do you wanna snag it for one of my beauty 101s? What's a beauty 101? Oh, it's a class. I just kinda show some tips and tricks. You just invite your friends, it's easy. Hopefully we get you free makeup. Or offer a free product. Hey, since you're gonna host, I'm gonna send you a free Epic so that you can show it off. Whatever you're willing to do. And what, what are they? Guys, they are whatever you wanna call them, but don't call them a party. Something about the word party makes people kind of coward into the corner and they're like, oh my God, I have to entertain, what? If the customer wants to call it a party, perfect, but not you. Beauty 101, makeup classes, makeup 101s, uh, makeover shows, cosmetic crazes, lipstick universities. Drop it in the comments of this video so that other people can bounce ideas of what to call their beauty bashes, okay? Just don't call it a party. Just don't call it a party. People shy away from that word. Hopefully this helps and look forward to video number two on when and where. Hey guys, Mallory Donnelly here and I am back with video number two of our virtual party training series. Today we are going to talk about when and where. In video one we talked about who, what. Today we're talking about when and where. When, when should you be hosting a party? All the time. You should never have a break where you're not hosting a virtual party for someone, ever. In the first 10 days of the month, if you want your personal website to be your own link, perfect, but that doesn't count as a party. You should be hosting for someone else at all times, and I say minimum 10 a month if you want your business to grow. Minimum 10 a month, okay? All the time. You pick how you run customer parties. Do you want to start them on a Sunday and finish them on a Saturday? Run a seven day party, leave the link open for a few days for those procrastinators. Then every Sunday you're running, what, five parties? You've got 20 parties in a month. If you want to start it every, Wednesday, every other Wednesday and you run 10 day parties, so it'll hit through two paydays, that's your prerogative. If you want to run five day parties, start them on Mondays, end them on Fridays, and give you two days to catch up, and you do epic events, 30 minute epic events, where you post a couple times, Wednesdays you do your event, post a couple times, leave the link open. Whatever you wanna do, you need to be running them at all times. At all times. 
Now, I will say this, have a sequence. Don't make yourself crazy by starting a new party every day for someone, unless you like that. Bundle them together. It'll make it easier on yourself. Run like five at a time. Have a mock party you can copy and paste from. If you do it in groups, you can schedule posts ahead of time. If you do it in events, that's fine. Do what works for you, but just always be having them, guys. It's the backbone of this business. It really is important. In homes, one-on-ones, have a few a month. Book three a month, one-on-ones or two-on-ones, where they bring, incentivize them to bring a friend. In-home parties, one a month. Whatever you wanna do, but always be having some form of parties for someone else other than yourself. Now, where? Where do you have these? Guys, you can have them in groups, you can have them in events, you can have them in your VIP page, you can have them in Messenger, you can have them in your house, you can have them in someone else's house. You can have it in a parking lot if you need to meet somebody in public in a parking lot to get them to try the makeup. I don't care where you have these things. You just have them. You just have them. Get creative, find what works for you. If you need to use a third party posting to help you because you work full time, guess what? Perfect. Post my party is great, send share is great. They post to groups or Groups have scheduling now where you don't even need a third party. Sit down on a Sunday, schedule your post for a couple days. Sit down on Tuesday night and schedule your post for the rest of the days, guys. Make a schedule, fit it into your life, but you have to have them. Don't make them a burden, enjoy them. Enjoy them because guess what? This is a new network. I love it when I start new parties. It gives me people to message, people to friend, new networks, new contacts, new people I get to know, new people that are gonna watch me on my personal page and my lives. Guys, get excited about parties. It is the backbone of the business and I can 100% guarantee if you continue to do them and teach your teams to do the same, your business will never go backwards, okay? So, you now know who, what, when, and where. If you want more details on how to run a messenger party, guys, there's trainings in this group on messenger parties. Getting people to add a few people to a chat and then you just showing off one to two products. There's tons of training on how to do them in groups and events and 10 days and seven days and five days and mascara epic events. If you need those questions, ask your sponsor, ask your upline elite, ask your black status. Who, what, when, where? Catch me for video three on why and how. All right guys, Mallory Donnelly and I'm back for the final video of this virtual party series. Video number three, why and how. Hopefully you've watched video one and two on who, what, when and where. Now we're gonna talk about why and how and we're gonna finish it with this. So let's talk about why. Why are we having virtual or in-home parties for other people? Parties period for other people, why? I know you're all thinking right now, sales, duh. No, change your mindset right now. When you stop believing parties are for sales, your whole business and life is going to change. Parties are strictly done for networking. Yes, we would love sales. And you know what? The juju of having parties will probably bring sales. And some people's parties may have 500 to 1,000 because their network is bomb. And then other people's may have zero. Majority may have zero because guess what? This person doesn't know you and they've got to build a trust with you. They've got to know you really believe in what you're believing in and they've got to build a trust that what you're telling them is not just to make a quick buck but because it really works and you really love it. That is why your parties need to be more of you than other people. They need to know that this hostess truly believes in what she's doing, okay? So why do we have them? Number one, to grow our network. It is the number one way your business is going to grow. More people to friend, more people to message, more relationships to build, more people to follow you, more people to watch you, more people. That is what we need, more people. You're gonna find Susie who knows all these people and you're gonna tap into Susie's friend who know all these people. Y'all draw a bubble graph and put Susie and then draw lines of people's names that you think of when you think of Susie. 
So now you've got Megan, Sarah, Kelly, Jordan, Kristen, okay? And when you get Kristen to host that event, now you're gonna meet Kristen's friends. And then when you get into Kristen's friends, now you're gonna meet their friends. And your cold network is where your success is. Our hot and warm market is not gonna make or break our business. Our cold market is what's gonna make it huge. Heck, half the people I know that y'all listening to this, I've never met you face to face, but from a cold market, we now love each other, right? Some of your best friends are probably people you've never even met that have the same like mind as you guys. Cold market's where it's at and that's why we have parties to tap into so many networks. And we have it in virtual parties, meaning we have it in the palm of our hands, social media, we can touch the world with our phone. We don't have to do it in person, meaning we have such a massive amount of people we can get our hands on. You'll never run out of hostesses or growing if you just keep doing the simple things and parties, okay? The second reason we have parties, yes, is to get product in people's hands, whether it's through samples or it's through sales. Book, sell, sponsor. Another reason we have parties is because we want people to join us from them. We now book, sell, sponsor, guys. It's a vicious cycle. That's why we have parties. They may not do it right then. They may not do it a month later. They're gonna do it three months later, three years later. Are you gonna stay consistent and keep doing this? Because guess what? The people who tough it out long-term are gonna be the ones that have massive success. Do you want that person to go buy from someone else who's more consistent or do you want them to buy from you? Stick around. Don't quit, there's no reason to quit. Worst case scenario, you're getting a discount on products you love. Best case, you're gonna make a huge lifestyle change, right? You're gonna be grow better, you're gonna be better, you're gonna do better, not only for yourself, but others. Do you see why parties are huge? You can change the life of so many with a freaking virtual party. And how, y'all, how? Let's talk about how to ask. You need to sound like you. I don't care if you send a video, a voice chat, or a text. I find texts get more response from me, guys. We're in a texting world. Sometimes people don't wanna see my face or hear my face, okay? Send a message that sounds like you. Don't copy paste, don't keep it, don't send a long paragraph. Don't ever just cold message them if you've never messaged them, unless you wanna just be like, girlfriend, this is random, but I saw you're online, I have one spot left. Create a sense of urgency. Hey girl, I see you have a birthday next month. I always save a couple spots for my birthday girls for online makeup one-on-ones with their friends. Do you wanna snag it? Hey girl, how you loving that mascara? Oh my God, I love it. Awesome, I'm so glad you love it. What if we try to get your next one free? In the follow-up, guys, how? How to ask, just be yourself as if you were gonna ask them in person. If it doesn't sound like you, don't send it. People will know it's not you. How to book them. Figure out on your calendar how you like to run your parties, what days you like to run your parties, and get to asking. If you've asked all your birthdays and all your randoms online and all your customers, move into your VIP page. Hey girlfriend, I'm only asking a few of my VIPs because I have one spot left for my online beauty classes. Would you want to snag it? What do I have to do? Not a whole lot, just invite your friends and closer to I'll walk you through it. Short and sweet, Keep giving, quit giving them details. Quit. All you need is their network. If they tap out and they don't wanna be a good hostess, they can't expect free stuff. Guys, put it in your head right now. Majority of your parties are not gonna qualify, but every single party is a success. Why? Because it's a new network you would've never met. If it makes one cell, great. If it makes five cells, great. If it qualifies, even better. But if it doesn't, it's still a success. If they were a great hostess and it didn't qualify, you know, incentivize them. Hey, if you get three of your friends to send me that want to host, I, I'll send you a free goodie because you are amazing. Okay? This is your business. I will never tell you to give away stuff. I will never tell you how to pay or run your business. But get creative and think outside the box. Okay? Sometimes it takes a little incentive of samples. Next five people that host online makeup classes with me get a free deluxe sample pack. Hook them up, send them face wash, moisturizer, primer, foundation, concealer, BB cream, a cream shadow, scrape off a little liquid lipstick, a mask sample, catalog, send it, get it in their hands. When people try it, they love it. How to plan for them, guys. It's your calendar, you know your life. 
What works for me may not work for you, but I do recommend you bundle them so you can copy and paste all at one time. If you like starting a new one each day, that's up to you. But if you create a sense of urgency, but you're like, hey girl, you wanna start ready? Okay, we'll start tomorrow. No, look like you're busy. It's like a relationship. You don't wanna to be too available. Oh, awesome, I have a spot on October 17th, okay? You could have 15 spots on October 17th, or you could have some on any other day. Create a sense of urgency. And how do you run them? That's up to you. The more you can post in there, the better, okay? I love showing all the products off in bulk. Like, here's all of our lip, it, I, here's foundations. Have a rhythm. Don't just like throw eyes, lips, and cheeks up every day, all day. Start with mascara a couple days. Let them see the results of the mascara. Throw in some mask picks. Talk about the rose water. Move into face products. Show coverage so other people with skin type not like yours, skin tones not like yours. Then move into eyes. Show different eye shapes and eye shadows. I have a video of every eye palette that I show. Move into brows. Show a brow liner and a brow palette, okay? Move back into lashes. Show off lashes again. You can never show something too much. People need to see something seven to 10 times in action before they're really intrigued, okay? Move into lips. Show bronzer and blushes. Show the collections. Show the opportunity. Have a rhythm, have a flow. We have a ton of mock parties that you can mimic, guys, of all different types, whether you want 10 day, seven day, five day, 30 minutes. There's mock parties for everything. You just have to ask your sponsor to be in them, okay? Or search your training groups, mock, party. They'll pop up, they're shared everywhere, okay? There's mocks for everything. Hostess coach, get to know your hostess. Give her things to post, pictures and verbiage. They don't know what we're doing, but you wanna show them how easy it is so that they hopefully join you. Girlfriend, halfway through. Girlfriend, stop letting me take your friend's money. Come do this with me. Then we'll, this can be your launch. You'll make the money, you'll get the freebies. What's your thoughts? Or if nobody's buying, girl, your friends wanna hear from you more than me. Have you thought about doing this and then this can be your uh, launch event and we'll just dive right in? Try to recruit them. They say, no, no, no. At the end, ask them again, girlfriend, your rewards are at your website. So give them your website. Hey, your rewards are at mousemakeup.com. When you log in, they'll be in your cart. But if you have put more thought into doing this with me, I'd love to get you up and running. You'd be amazing. Your friends have already seen the product. They already know they're kind of intrigued. Now this is your time to build the trust. Hype them up to join you. Book, sell, sponsor. So, with that being said, I hope that this gives a basis, basic basis on why we do parties, why they're important, how to run them. If you want details, there's more detailed trainings. I wanted to keep these short and sweet. But just know there's now who, what, when, where, why, and how that we have parties in this business.